The earth is in perpetual motion, but what if its speed was to increase to twice the current speed or three times the current speed or five times the current speed? What if it rotates at 10 times its current speed? What effect would it have on us, the humans? Would we be able to cope up? What effect would it have on animals who live on the land? Would they be able to cope up? What about the creatures who are underwater? What would they feel? How would the birds cope up with the changing speed of Earth's rotation? What changes would it make to the geography? Would the Earth's new rotation speed render some areas unhabitable? And what effects would it have on the vegetation? How will change in the Earth's rotation speed change the water flow and water currents and impact the ocean? In a nutshell, everybody on Earth, will they be able to adapt to the new Earth's rotation speed? Today we will discuss what happens if the earth starts spinning faster. But before we begin I really need your help in helping the channel grow so if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. It really helps the small channels grow. At the very beginning our solar system was composed of a massive cloud of dust and gases. Once the cloud began to collapse, it flattened onto a giant disk with a bulge in the center which eventually formed the sun. As the planets and the other celestial bodies started taking shape apart from the original disk, the overall angular momentum of the disk needed to be conserved. Hence, these heavenly bodies inherited their rotation from the overall movement of the solar system. Without any unbalanced forces in play, nothing that we know of presently, the inertia of the sun and the planets have maintained the mutual spinning for billions of years. Furthermore, they will continue to do so for billions of years until they collide with some other objects. The Earth's graceful 24-hour rotation rate is very amendable to life. It keeps the temperatures of the Earth ambient due to routine heating and cooling of the surfaces. And also the atmosphere experiences an inward drag towards the Earth because of its rotation. And it maintains an appropriate distance from the surfaces. Tides. The daily rise and fall of sea levels are a result of both the earth spinning on its axis and the effects of gravity from the earth and the moon. Now we don't feel the earth spinning because along with the earth everything on it is also spinning. Just like the high tides and the low tides and the water current, the spinning also controls the air flow and the storms. At the equator, the rotation speed of the earth is nearly 1600 km per hour. So if you stood at the equator, you would cover a distance of nearly 40,000 km in one day. Due to this rotation of the earth, the centrifugal force generated tries to throw you off the planet. But then comes gravity. Because gravity is more powerful than centrifugal force, it pulls you back. However, with the earth spinning faster, weight loss can be very simple. With the earth spinning faster, more centrifugal force will be generated which will try to throw you off the planet, resulting in a reduction in weight. Currently, you will weigh half a kilogram less on the equator because of the extra centrifugal force generated on the equator as the equator spins faster than any other region of the earth. If the equator raved up to 17,641 miles per hour, the centrifugal force would overcome gravity and we would be virtually weightless, something like bubbles. We would have less time in a day once the earth's rotation speed increases and also we will have more days in a year, means we will have to reorganize our calendars. All communications involving satellite will be at jeopardy. This is because the satellites are synchronized to the rotation speed of the earth and with the earth's rotation speed changing, satellites will not be able to communicate in between each other and with the earth. Satellites are commonly used for things like communication, military and intelligence and defenses of each country and television broadcasting and unfortunately none of these will work. Considering the earth is rotating at two times the speed, you will only have four hours of sleep per day. The more the rotation speed, the lesser the sleep. So you will feel tired throughout the day. Probably coffee sales will be a lot higher. Maybe it's time to buy some shares of coffee companies if the earth's rotation speed increases. Our next problem will be the number of meals that we can eat in one day. The higher the rotation speed, the lesser the number of meals we can have per day. So maybe you will always be hungry. Not only you, wild animals will also have less time to hunt and eat. So animals who depend primarily on getting their food through hunting will have less time to get their food. This will cause a problem for them. 
Nocturnal species will have less time to hunt at night and probably will cause their extinction if they can't adapt. Now, why nocturnal only? Birds which hunt during the day will also have lesser time to hunt and they will also face a problem of extinction if they also can't adapt. Humans would have to adjust to the new biological clock and for an average person who drives to work, they will have to drive twice as often if the earth is spinning two times or thrice as often if the earth is spinning three times faster, which will inadvertently cause a lot of air pollution and another additional problem for earth to deal with. Currently, the earth rotates much faster than the winds or currents which leads to a Coriolis forces that deflect the wind and changes its direction, creating high and low pressure regions. With an increase in the earth's rotation speed would come severe and deteriorated weather. The circles of convection would tighten and the weather would potentially include much more cyclones, hurricanes and tornadoes. The extra speed at the equator would mean that the water in the oceans would begin to amass there. At just one mile per hour faster than its regular velocity, the water around the equator would become a few inches deeper within a few days. The centrifugal force would pull thousands of gallons of water towards the Earth's waistline. Many low-lying areas of the world, including cities like New York, Venice, Mumbai, and many others would be completely submerged underwater if the speed ratcheted up by a few more miles per hour, along with displacing millions of people from their homes. Ocean ecosystems like coral reefs would be completely wasted as they need shallow waters. On top of this, reduced gravity in the equator would produce dense fogs and constant rain would permanently cover all the regions of the equator. This would cause certain areas uninhabitable and people would have to find new areas to settle down, preferably towards the poles. Clearly an increase in the earth's rotation speed could have various impacts ranging from increased earthquakes and tsunamis to shortening the length of the day. People could be floating through the air, wetlessness in Central Africa while the polar ice caps melt extremely fast submerging many populated parts of the world. However, the rotation of the earth is actually being slowed down by the presence of the moon as every year the moon gains a little energy from the earth and drifts a bit further away. In the last 100 years, earth has slowed down by 1.4 milliseconds. For the speed of the earth to increase drastically, it would have to be hit by a large enough object which could bear plenty of other consequences such as dismantling of the crust and massive earthquakes and tsunamis that could easily kill us all. Let's just be happy that for now, our planet appears to be spinning just at the right speed. I love how the earth rotates. It makes my day. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment in both YouTube and Facebook. The channel needs your support to grow. Thank you.